Welcome to this platform. So in this video, let us have a look at the 2024 uh, linear programming question that came. Linear programming is one of the questions that you can answer without difficulties as you already have the background from uh, paper one. So paper two, normally you are going to put everything on uh, the graph. So now how do you answer this question? So this one is the one that came in 2024, please. So I guess you are able to see the question clearly. Let me just try to zoom it out. So Maplanga Carpentry, Maplanga's Carpentry Shop makes two types of um, chairs. So Maplanga's Carpentry Shop makes two type uh, makes two types of what? Chairs. That is type A and type B for sale. The cost of making one chair is equals to 2000 the shop has 140,000 available for making chairs the number of chairs for type a must be at least what 20 and that of type b must be at least what 10 now before we even get into this there are some of the terminology that you need to know and by the way, here use only two inequality symbols. That is greater or equal or less or equal. It's not like in paper one where you use even greater and less. Here you only focus on these two inequalities. But now you need to know the terminology that are used, different term terminology that are used for these. So if you have greater or equal to, this one can be everywhere you find at least just know that it's greater or equal to. Everywhere you find at most, at most, just know that you see. Or well, let me talk of uh, the greater one first. So at least greater or equal to. Then more than greater or equal to. So this is the more than. More than which means you are going, um, you are going beyond. Okay. So also greater or equal to. Then the other one exceed, exceed. I've said exceed, not exceed, but exceed. Okay. So these are some of them that you are going to find commonly for greater. Then what about for less or equal to? So for less or equal to is at most, at most, okay, at most. Then the other one that you are going to find not more than, I think that one is direct, not more than, then not exceed. But of course, there are other terminologies that you are going to find, but, um, you'll be able to tell whether we are talking of greater or equal to or less or equal to. Otherwise, these are inequality, two inequalities that are used. Okay, so let us look at uh, the questions. I mean the question. So the first question, which is A, if uh, X is the number of uh, chairs of type A. So here they are saying type A chair and type B. Uh, B, but we are going to use X for type what? A. So, X for type A. Pay attention to this. Then Y for type what? For type B. Write the in three inequalities which represent the conditions. Write the three inequalities which represent the conditions. Now, let us go back to the question. Maplanga's carpentry shop makes two types of chairs type A, which means X, and type B, which is Y. The cost of making one chair of each type, so which means one chair of each type is 2,000 kwacha. This information we are going to need it. The shop has 140 kwacha. I mean 140,000 kwacha. Now listen to this. Each type, each chair, I mean each uh, uh, type of chairs the cost for each is 2,000. But we don't know how many of type A or type B are needed. So we are going to write 2,000. Then we put X plus 2,000 Y. And they are saying the money are variable, which means they cannot go beyond the budget, not exceed 140. So the total amount should not exceed what? 140. Then we are going to put less or equal to uh, 140,000. Uh, okay, so this is the first inequality that we are going to have.
But as you can see, we can reduce it where we divide 2000 throughout. And we are going to have x plus y less or equal to. This one divide 2000 is a, a 70. So this is the, one of the inequality that we are going to, uh, that we need. Then let us go on. The number of chairs or ty of type A must be at least, what did we say at least? Number of type A should be at least 20. So X, since type A is X, X greater or equal to 20 at least. So this is the, the second inequality. Don't worry, I'm going to put them in order. Then that of type B must be at least 10. So type B is Y. So you don't use A and B. Use the letters that are given. And normally X and Y are the ones that you use. So at least 10. So less or equal to. So this is the third inequality. Okay. So we have three inequalities here. Okay. So and these you can put them on the graph uh, paper because this paper remains. So I'm just putting them here. As we go to the graph we are going to put them there. Then question B, using the scale of 2 cm, now here again you need to pay attention. Using the scale of 2 cm, you know that on the graph paper, those boxes, big one, each one is a 2 cm. So they are telling you that that box of 2 cm, you are going to move in 10 units, okay, 10 chairs. So it will be uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, that is how you are going to move. Okay, so using the scale of 2 cm to represent 10 units, uh, 10 chairs on each axis. So on each axis, y axis, x axis, you are going to move in tens. So you are going to start on the x axis from zero and you are going to end at 70. Then y axis, you start from zero equally, you end at 70 respectively. Then share the unwanted region and clearly show where the solution of inequalities lie. So let us go to the graph. So here is a graph that you are going to use. So let me just put the inequality here on top. Really, the order I can compromise. So I'll say x less or equal to, I mean greater or equal to 20. Then 2, the second inequality is um, y greater or equal to 10. Then of course the third inequality we said is x plus y less or equal to 70. So these are the three inequalities that we are going to put on the what? On the graph. And of course I've made the drawing already here as you can see so let me just show you where it's starting from so this is starting from zero then this is the, the x-axis okay this is the x-axis and i'm moving in tens so this is the two centimeter i was talking about so this up to there is a two centimeter now they're saying use 10 so 10 20 30 40 50 60 up to 70 that is on the x-axis on the y-axis, I've done the same. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, up to 70. Now, what remains here, the question further says, uh, show clearly, that is, shade the unwanted region. So you are shading the unwanted region. Now, how do you shade the unwanted region? You look at the inequalities that you have. So the wanted region is this one, which is x greater or equal to uh, 20. That is the wanted region for this uh, line. Now, one thing you should know that these inequalities mean you need a solid line. So if you only have one letter here, or one variable that is x or y, just know that you are going to cut. If it's x, you are going to cut on the x at that particular point. So for the first one, x is equals to 20. We just go where there's 20. This line is x is equals to 20. This line. Okay, we can draw this line. Okay, you draw this. Of course, you'll be using a meter rule. So you draw this line. Okay, so this line is x is equals to 20. But we are interested on the part for x is greater or equal to uh, 20. Okay, so we are shading the less part. Now, if you were to look at this line, uh, this line, this is the less part and this is the greater part. So our shading is going to be on this side. So we shade from this side you just shade by putting these uh, lines something like this we are shading on the other side of the line x is uh, greater or equal to uh, 20 so we've shaded that line 
Then the other line, we are going to cut it at, on the y-axis, we are going to cut it at uh, 10. So y is equals to 10, that is where we are going to put another line, that is this line. Then now, we are interested, this part of the line is greater, and this is the less part, and that is what we are interested in. We are interested in the greater part, so we shade the opposite one. Okay, so we are going to shade the bottom part of the line, okay? That is what we are going to shade. Then the remaining uh, inequality, if you have x and y, you just put up a cup box having x and y. Okay, so x, y. Just like a box with just the four boxes. So, if it is something like this, you just put a zero on y, on x. Then if you put a zero on x here, y will be 70. Then this time around, put a zero where there's y. Then x will be what? That is x plus y, 70. So x will be what? 70. So it means you are looking for the point x, that is 0, comma, uh, 70 and 70, comma, 0. And this you just pin the point on the x-axis where y is 0 is this one. And no, not seven, not this one. So it is on this part. So this is the, um, 70 comma zero and you go on the y-axis you are going to go at 70 this is where zero comma 70 is okay then now you are looking for the less part this part of the line is greater and this is the less part and you want this part so you shade the greater you shade on the greater uh, part of the line so this is where you're going to uh, do the shading okay so we've done the shading and this is the region that you are interested in okay so we've shown clearly okay so which means that question for is it question b what question is that yeah question b we've answered it clearly then question c given that the profit of a uh, type a chair is e, 60 and type b is equals to 30 how much how many chairs of each type should be made for the uh, for the maximum profit so every time you are you're answering this question you would want to come up with an objective function where you say sigisti this is type a so x since type a are x then plus 30 then y equal to okay just put it like that then you go to uh, you go to so this is b question that we've answered then you go to uh, your graph where they are meeting these parts just on the side of uh, the wanted region, this where they are intersecting, you pick the point. So the point that is right here, the point that is right here, it is e, y is e, I mean x is e, sigisti, then on the x axis is e, 10. Okay, so that is that point. Let me just write it from inside, 60, 10. So you pick the points where they are or those around the wanted region, where they are meeting, where these lines are intersecting. Then for this one, you see, uh, here as you can see, x is 20, so it will be 20, 10. Then we have this one on top, this one. x is still 20, so this is 20, then y is 50. Then now these points that you've gotten you want to find the maximum profit You are going to bring in the objective function. We are answering question C So your objective function is e, Sigisti x plus 30 uh, Y equal to so you start testing these points. I guess I've gotten uh, this objective. Yeah, you start testing these points now So for the first point you are going you can even start with this one so where there's x, this is x, this is y. So where there's x, we are going to put a 20. So we are going to say 20. Uh, that is a uh, 60x, where there's uh, x, we put a 20, plus 30. Where there's y, we put a 50. And then if we are to multiply these, what are you having? What are you getting if you multiply? That is a uh, 60 multiply uh, 20, then plus 30 multiply uh, 50 
Okay, for me, I'm getting 2,700. These are in kwacha. So 2,000. This is the profit if we were to use that point. Then, of course, the other one, we pick uh, the same function this time around. Let us use this point, which is uh, 60 for x plus 30. Then for y is 10. If we were to multiply this, what is it giving us? So, sigisti times sigisti plus 30 times uh, 10. I'm getting 3,900. So, 3,900. Then, the next one, let us use sigisti. Let us use the other point now, which is 20 plus 30. That is it, 10. This one I'm getting, um, that is 1,500. So now what is the question? The question is, um, the question is, given the profit of the chair is equal to that one and that one, how many chairs of each type should be uh, for maximum profit? So the one that has given us the highest number after testing this point is the this one so how many chairs so this number x represent the number of chairs for type a y for type b so i can say therefore the one that gives us the maximum uh, profit is the 60 uh, chairs of type a then uh, 30 chairs of type uh, b Okay, so we've answered question C. Then question, uh, do we have question D? Question D, calculate the maximum profit. So this one is, should be easy because we are just going to pick. So this is question D. That one is easy. We are just going to pick the one that has given us the highest number, which is this one. So to calculate the maximum profit, we are going to say uh, 60 X plus 30 X. Okay. Then in this case, we are going to replace 60, the same one that we've answered here that has given us maximum, 60 plus 30, then 10, then it will give us 3,900 in kwacha. So now, the maximum profit, the maximum profit is 3,000. 900 so that is how you simply answer this question okay so that is it what you needed to answer on this particular part i hope it has been uh, helpful so please uh these questions they just come the same so you just have to master the terminologies and also how to come up with the inequalities plotting is never the problem and make sure that you present your information in uh, a pencil i'm just using uh colors here so that you can uh, able to see otherwise we can end here and if this is as if this has been helpful uh, don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and also turn on the notification bell invite others to this platform and also if you are interested in the online lessons you are writing next year you can just contact the number 0976 402563 otherwise see you in the next one